My first computer was this 2010-27 inch iMac. It was meant to be used by the whole family, but I was the main user. It made me fall in love with computers and, in particular, with Macs. I've been using this machine as my daily driver for 10 whole years. Then, in 2020, I got a brand new 27 inch iMac. I loved the form factor and it was just like my old one, but better. However, the old one still had a place in my heart. It was the computer I grew up with. It still worked, but it wasn't really usable anymore. After a quick search, I found out that 27 inches IMAX have this target display mode that lets you use the Max display as an external monitor for other Macs. That's great! Let's see what I need. Oh, that's unlucky. But how is this possible? The 2020 iMac is not very different from the 2019 model. Also, after a quick search on the internet, I found this post from this guy who claims to have got my same setup working. Maybe Apple just forgot to update this page? I'm not sure, but it's still worth trying. I got the required adapters from Amazon, I plugged the computers together and... Well, it works! We can switch between the video mode and computer mode anytime by pressing Command F2 on the Mac that is used as a monitor. This setup works exactly like any other dual monitor setup. You can uh, use the second monitor to show Discord while gaming, you can use this configuration for video editing just like I do with uh, the whole clip showing on one monitor on full screen and uh, the whole timeline on the other monitor and it really comes down to your preference. You can also use this setup in combination with Apple's uh, universal control that lets you use one computer's mouse and keyboard across multiple and with this you can have this insane setup that I sometimes use uh, made by three whole computers, one MacBook and two iMacs. But what's going on here? How is this working? Apple stated that 2020 iMac wasn't compatible. There are two options. The first one, which is the least likely, is that they just forgot to update the website. And the second one, which is the most likely, is that right now we aren't using target display mode. Let me explain. After another quick search, I was able to find this site that claims that 2010 IMAX can actually accept DisplayPort video signal as a video input. And if that's the case, right now we are using this feature and not the target display mode. This explains why using other IMAX models such as 2012 IMAX doesn't work. It's this particular model that works and well, this makes us very lucky. This newly acquired information gives us a lot of possibilities for what can be done with this iMac. I found this converter that converts HDMI output into DisplayPort, and this ad clearly shows the iMac being used as a monitor for the PlayStation 5. I haven't tried it because it isn't that cheap and I'm not sure, but maybe in the future I'll give it a shot. But now, what are the pros and the cons of this setup? Let's start with the pros. First off, the look of the setup. You can't tell me that this doesn't look amazing. Yes, it's ridiculous, but also insanely cool. It's clean, there are these two big monitors that are exactly identical, and I love the way this setup looks. Also, this can be a cost-effective option. Some of you may have this exact Mac in their house, and they can get a monitor for their new Mac just by buying the adapters. Third point, it works just like any other monitor. You can control the brightness using this keyboard, you can also use the built-in speakers, and you can use it as a monitor for any other Mac including uh, MacBooks. And also, by just pressing Command and F2, you can go back to the normal mode. As a bonus tip, you can use the Mac ports to charge other devices, such as keyboards. And last, it has a good video quality. I'll show some details on screen. But here come the cons. First, it has just a good video quality, nothing more. This means that many 27 inches monitors will perform the same, if not better than this. Second, macOS doesn't fully suspend, so there could be some annoying fan noise, and it's not that rare. So, in conclusion, if you have this iMac, you could try this setup, but I really don't think that you should buy one just for this reason, since these computers are way more expensive than any other monitor. As we have seen, it's not ideal, and any other monitor will work better. I hope you liked this video, maybe I've shown you something that you hadn't seen before. As always, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe, maybe leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.